All right, so we've been able to predict a handful of metathesis reactions, right, um, by using um, a, a model for us, right, that we've talked about, where we say that the general form of these metathesis reactions are A and B combining with C and D to form A, D, and what's left? S B, C? Now, can I write B, C? Or do I have to write C, B, or does it matter? I don't think it matters. Well, it actually does matter because C is the cation. Remember how the front ones are the cations? Oh, yeah, okay. So, C, B. Very good. So, it doesn't matter if you write C, B, A, D. That order doesn't matter. But you need to have the cation in front. Or, yeah, in acid-base reactions, you can see how this same thing occurs where one of our products, though, is the hydrogen ion combining with the hydroxide ion to form water, okay? And in some cases, you don't form water, but you form a, a compound that has different properties than your initial compounds here. So for example, we had a strong acid and a weak base, and the result here is ammonium chloride. Do you know what ammonium chloride is? Is that a base? Ammonium chloride, that's just... Uh, oh, that's just an ionic compound. That's right, it's just an ionic compound. Okay, so if we look at the net ionic equation for this HCl combining with NH3, right? First, let's draw the ionic equation. We would take anything that's ionic and separate it into its ions, right? Is HCl ionic? Well, it's, a, it's, a, it's an acid. Okay, yeah. So on acids, we'll write them as separate ions only if they're strong acids. Is HCl a strong acid? Let me look at my list. Yeah, it's a strong acid. Very good. Hopefully you have that list of strong acids. If not, go back a couple chapter where we talk about strong and weak acids, and you'll get that list written down on your periodic table as well. So HCl, whoops, HCl is written as its ions, H plus and Cl minus. It's dissociated, right? Now, NH3, do you know what kind of compound that is? Uh, well, it says acid-base reaction, so is it a base? That's right, it is a base, it's a base. Um, and NH3 is not dissociatable. It doesn't dissociate or ionize when placed in solution. So we don't separate that. It's not a, a strong base. It's not an ionic compound that's soluble, right? And it's not a strong acid. So the products, NH4Cl, is NH4Cl, uh, ammonium chloride, is that soluble in water? It's an ionic compound, we decided. Is it soluble in water? Is it a strong electrolyte? Yeah, because group uh, rule one says that any ammonium compound is, is soluble in water. Very good. So I write that as its ions, NH4 plus and Cl minus. And now I can look and see what my net ionic equation would be. That is my ionic equation. And my net ionic equation, what would it be? Uh, you have a chloride ion as a spectator. Very good. So my net ionic equation exists. Hydrogen coming together with NH3. The common name for NH3 is ammonia. All right. To form the ammonium ion. All right. Very good. So you follow that same pattern and see if you can predict what the products will be for this reaction. Okay. Take a, a, a try at it at home um, and then push play again when you're ready. Ready, Fred? Ready. All right. So, what are you going to do here? I have no idea. Okay. All right. Good to be honest. NH3 combining with HCN. All right. Can we identify what the products are? Uh, maybe. Um, is HCN an acid? It is. It is an acid. What made you think that? Well, because it starts with hydrogen. Good. So if it starts with hydrogen, uh, what is it going to do in its chemical reaction with a base? Is the hydrogen going to... I don't know. Well, 
HCN, when you have HCN as an, or if you have hydrogen as an acid and there's a base around, the base is going to take that hydrogen from that acid. So NH3 is going to take that hydrogen and form NH4 plus. And then what do you think is going to be left over? Oh, CN minus. Very good. CN minus. Now we have our uh, equation. Now we can look and see what the ionic equation might be. All right. What would the ionic equation for this reaction be? Uh, NH3 would not break up into its ions. Very good. Would HCN? Well, it is an acid, so it would dissociate. Okay, but we said that only what kind of acids were written as ions in ionic equations? Oh, the strong acids. Okay, so we have to look and see. Is HCN a strong acid? Let me look. No, HCN is not a strong acid. Okay, so um, it will not be written as anything different in our um, ionic equation. And look, NH4 and CN minus, we already have them separated. It's an ionic compound. These are both aqueous and they're in water. So there we go. Now we can go right to our net ionic equation. What's our net ionic equation going to be? I don't see any spectator ions. That's right. There's none. So it's the same. So which one of these products, A, B, C, uh, are not a product of this reaction? Uh, A. A is not a product of that reaction. Very good. Excellent. Okay. How about this one? Folks at home, give it a try. We have a strong base, sodium hydroxide, combined with a weak acid, HF. All right? See what you can do. Okay, did you try it? I think I know what to do on this one. Why do you think that? Well, because we've worked on a lot of them, and this is a, a strong base, like you said, with a weak acid, so the products are easy. It's uh, N A F and water. Very good. So let's rewrite that chemical equation then. So you got NaOH and HF coming together to form NaF and water. Very good. Um, now we want the net ionic equation for this. Can we get the ionic equation first? Yeah. NaOH is a strong base. It's a soluble compound. All Anything with sodium, right? That's right. So we're going to write its ions. Sodium ion, hydroxide ion, HF. Does that dissociate? Well, it's an acid, but you said that if it's not a strong acid, we don't write it as dissociated. And it's not a strong acid. Very good. So HF will be like that. And the product here... Well, NaF, is that going to be dissociated? Anything with sodium is dissociated in the ionic equation. Very good. Sodium ion, fluoride ion, and then water. No, no, you don't pull water apart. It's not an ionic compound. Very good. So, any spectator ions? Oh, the sodium ion. Very good. So, does that look like any of our answers? Uh, C. Excellent job. Excellent job. Okay, so if you didn't quite understand that one, go back. Here's a quick review, but sodium hydroxide, strong base, it does dissociate when it's in water in the ionic equation. HF, weak acid, does not dissociate. Um, remember our strong acids and weak acids, we have to have those written down. Uh, you can go back a couple um, movies, if uh, videos, if you haven't remembered that or written that down. Sodium fluoride, just an ionic compound, dissociates. Water does not dissociate. Okay, very good. Now, there's just a little bit of reference here to uh, the gas-forming reactions. There's a handful, not just these four that are, are, are mentioned here, but um, we're not going to test you too much on these gas-forming reactions, simply because it's just kind of memorizing these, which is fine, um, but I'm less excited about just having you memorize certain compounds. Gradually over time, especially in the lab, you'll perform maybe one of these. 
and become familiar with it. Um, but it's good enough for me that you re remember and recognize that the formation of a gas is another way that a metathesis reaction can occur. Okay, very good. So overview, we have a precipitation, neutralization, or gas forming reactions. Those are the ways that uh, metathesis reactions occur. Good job.